Now then, today we're doing my final cut for the England squad. And I've done it based on where they should be on the plane. Alright, so the top lads are part of the crew. They're their driving thing for, I like it. Front row, very important place in the squad. Economy, but a free drink, so they'll go, but they won't really play. A free holiday, jet to all expenses spared. Jess Glynn, hold my hand, is playing. Uh, just bring your sunglasses, because you're not going to feature. And then left on the runway, seven lads are going to get cut from this squad. And I'm going to start with three of them. One is James Trafford, just so Thogden can't get his thumbnail and title. Two is Kwanzaa. I love Kwanzaa. I think he's very good. There are more proven names on here. And another one, Lewis Dunk gets cut for me. I think he's so overrated, it's untrue. There are so many names who deserve to be in 33, whatever it was, than Dunk. I'm just going to put some of the cabin crew in now, the part of the crew. Kane, Jude, Foden, Stones, Pickford. I mean, look at this. And Rice. These lads are all going to play. Even if you have some alternative indie opinion now, like maybe oh, Saka's not going to play in my team, them six there should all play in all of your team. If they don't, just click off because I think you're watching a different game. And I've got three more crew members being drafted in later on. I wouldn't take Curtis Jones. Yeah. I would rather take Mainu and Wharton over Jones. I just think they're what England need more so than Jones. Realistically, right, Mainu, I'm going to put Mainu in. Mainu's going to go and he's going to probably play minutes, right? And I'd take Wharton on a free holiday. I don't think he'll feature. However, I want him in there. 100%. Should the worst happens and Rice gets struck down by Lightning or kidnapped, someone's going to old in that team, right? And I think Wharton is the closest you're going to get to a proper, aggressive midfielder, tenacious. And I love doing these things on form. These players are fresh, they're ready to go. Jones ain't been, recently. And Wharton has proper bastard midfielder. Love it. I'd take him. I really would. They knew economy but free drink. Extra leg room. Throw that on there as well because he will play. Again, given no injuries to pick for them two are getting a free holiday. Another free holiday is Mark Guehi. I think he's very good. He goes but I genuinely wouldn't play him for a minute. Right, a bit more flair here. These two both are in front row. I love these two and I'm going to group them actually because I'd start one of them and I'm not sure which one. You've got to say Gordon's the most unique in the squad, that pace can get him behind, which is lacking this year. No Sterling, no Rashford, arguably therefore better off the bench as an impact sub, you could say. Palmer, I think he's a better player. Depends how they want to set up, both in the front row. They've both got extra legroom, window seats, they're both going to come off the bench at some point. Also sitting on the window seats, uh, Gallagher. Gallagher is a tournament football player in the And I think Jones is a better player than Gallagher. And I've got him two divisions below, but it's about what England need. Jones ain't going to come on and offer much, right? Trent's going to come on and offer something to, to change a game. Gallagher's going to come on to see a game out, in my opinion. The last 10 minutes, 15 minutes, he plays a knackered, maybe extra time. Bring Gallagher on, just sprint around, kissing the badge. That's exactly what I want in a team. And he's had a good season. I've slagged Gallagher off, but I like him as a bloke, and he's had a good season. He's got to go, and for me, he's getting the free drink in that economy. Another window seat been sold to that man there, Trippier. Versatile can play off left or right. Given Shaw's injured, will come in for me. He's done it for England before. He's just going to play as an if. If anyone gets injured, he's playing. Jared Bowen. He is so underrated. I love him. Will he get much game time given the quality at front four? No. But he is good enough to make a significant impact off the bench. I'm telling you, this is his tournament. If he gets minutes, he'll do well. Along with Watkins, right, who is also in economy. And the only reason he's there is because he's not going to play much, is he? The bloke keeping him out of the team is one of the best, if not the best, striker in the world. So these two, Watkins, Bowen, they can change games, in my opinion. But they're not going to start any game at all for me. They'll come on off the bench. That's all he well, great. Actually, put him to the front. You, sirs, are getting, you know, the little piece of cloth that you get on the back of you to indicate like you're a bit more prestige. That's what they're getting. Just spilled tea all down my top. Unbelievable. Do you hear that? That is the plane arriving. And no, that's a train sound, isn't it? I'll do this. The plane is landing. The plane. Guess who's getting on? I guess who's getting on? Luke Shaw. He is driving that damn thing along with Walker. There's your cabin crew. They're. That's it. They're the lads. They're the, they're the, they're the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lads. That works for me. And then you got three more who are going to make it up on a day. Walker starts. Shaw starts, given they're all fit. Move on. Two centre-backs now. Maguire is in front row. Concer, I'm going to move into economy. I'd probably start Maguire. Now we're here, like two weeks before the tournament. Maguire's been good this year, right? He's been nothing more. I'm not saying any other adjective to describe the bloke. He has been good given how shit Man United are and also given how inconsistent the back four is. He's kind of in and out, you know what I mean? I didn't want Maguire playing. My whole argument was he wasn't playing for his club. It's the highest merit in England, right? You've got to be playing for your club to play for your nation. And he wasn't, but he is now. So front row just, he's kind of sat aisle seat front row. So not the best. You're going to get people brushing your past. He's not a comfy ride, but he'll play. He, he will play. And the other one's concert. I really like this guy. He's strong. He's good on the ball. He can read the game well, in my opinion. Played a massive part in Villa's success this year. He's got to go, firstly. Some people haven't included him. I'd even say he's our first defensive sub. If you want to see a game out, I'll bring Conter on. Right, okay, you've been waiting for this. I'm going to put the three lads on cutting out. And ultimately, I don't really care. I genuinely don't care. I'm just going to do it. it. One, two, three. Some people have clicked off, right? I think Grealish, when he is on it, he's very good. Like, he's almost world-class. When he's on it, he's not been on it. Do you know what I mean? I've dropped Jones because he's had a poor season back end. I'm dropping Grealish because he's had a poor season. I've also dropped Madison because... I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to put this guy in here now. 
I'm off vibes. And I think given neither of them were going to play anyway, I think Eze offers more. I think Eze is a curveball than Madison. And again, it's not worth losing sleep over people. They're not going to play. And I've also dropped Tony because I don't think we need three strikers. Go back and have a look at third choice strikers for England. I've not looked, but I'm guessing they weren't a bloody feature, right? He will play about 24 minutes if he goes. Might play the third group game if we get through. That is it. So Tony's there for me. And there's your seven. I think if you said at the start of the season, you'd be bringing Madison and Grealish, but you'd be dropping them. A bit unpopular. If you want to. Sop Madison as I do it, I'm not really bothered. Branthwaite and Gomez both go for me. Branthwaite, part of an excellent, solid trio this year, been superb. And even individually, been one of the best centre halves in, in league. And Gomez as well gets a free inclusive holiday. Be like Gallagher, right? They're very good tournament players, right? Gomez is so versatile. Centre half, left back, right back. Been playing most games for Liverpool this year. Also, people are going to say Liverpool buyers. I've dropped Quanther out and I've dropped, I've dropped Jones out. And I don't think many people will have dropped Jones out. So. No bias here, I'm just, this is what I think. I wouldn't start Gomez, not even nearly start him, but he's good cover. He can play across back three. Speaking of Liverpool, Trent. Trent's in. It, I think he's in front row. I really do think he's in front row. You know what as well? I'm going to move Watkins up because I think them there, if it ain't working, if we're down, you're bringing on Trent, you're bringing on Watkins, and you're bringing on one of Gordon or Palmer to change that game, aren't you? So they're your three impact subs right there. And I know you've all been waiting. Where are you going to put Saka? I think Saka's going to get a free holiday, right? Because the thing is with Saka, right, he's so good, but... He does, he likes to limp, doesn't he? So he doesn't really, um, he's not really gonna feed. I've probably got someone there anyway. Saka's obviously part of the crew. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in the crew. Then you're starting two from the front row. So you're starting Maguire, you're starting maybe Palmer. And then there's your three impact subs. That is how this, this, this video is great. I don't, don't know why they've duplicated stones here. I've even gone to the trouble of drawing up my squad for you and I can't see it, so I'm having to move it a bit closer. Look at the defense, right? So you've got five players who could play right back, three at left back and five center halves. That's good enough. That is, If anything, that's too good. Maybe bring in an extra centre half there. We don't need one. Into your midfield. Ignore the Trent starting bit. Just placeholder for now. You've got five lads there who can all run. And I do worry if Rice goes down, who's going to fill in? I think Wharton's that most suited player to do that. Maybe with Trent in a pivot kind of thing. And all you Madison like lovers, even if he did come in, he'd be where Eze is there. He wouldn't play. Genuinely wouldn't play for me. He ended the season so poor. Off left Foden, Gordon. Saka Bowen. Bellingham, Palmer, Eze, Kane, Watkins. Worst case scenario, both of them strikers get injured. Bowen comes in. Bellingham fills in up front. You know what I mean? There are so many options in this squad. It is so versatile. That is my squad. They're, they are the 26 lads I'd take to go and fucking win this tournament. There we go. See you later. Do subscribe. And there's a lot more Euros content coming up. So do leave a like on the video. If you enjoyed it, please, please, please leave a comment. Leave a comment. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Who would you bring? Who would you not bring? Who would you leave at home? Who would you make part of the crew? See you later. I'm going. Just a quick one down below. You'll find all the links to everything. So social medias, Instagram, Twitter, X, TikTok, YouTube. I've got a new channel called Dart Days. I've got a music channel. I've got a second football channel, a Liverpool channel. There's a lot going on. Do check it all out if you're interested in any of those things. Have a good one. Ta-ta.